Finland and Sweden are expected to submit their bids to join NATO on Wednesday. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov says the two countries joining NATO would probably not make much of a difference as both Sweden and Finland had long participated in the alliance's military drills. Russia's Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov has called the move a mistake, saying that they will lose part of their sovereignty rights. Russia has also expelled two diplomats from the Finnish embassy in retaliation to the expulsion of two Russian diplomats from Finland. Russian Foreign Ministry issued a statement last week saying Finland's NATO membership will violate the 1947 Paris Peace Treaty and the 1992 Russian-Finnish Bilateral Relations Treaty. Turkey has signaled that it may object to Finland and Sweden's bids to join NATO. The governments of the two Nordic countries said that they will send delegations to Ankara to discuss the issue. Mahal Badavid has the details. Ankara says it may block Sweden and Finland's NATO membership applications over some national security concerns and has demanded security guarantees for Turkey. Ankara is accusing Sweden and Finland of supporting the PKK, the Kurdistan Workers' Party, considered a terrorist organization by Turkey, the EU and the United States. Ankara has also expressed fury at Sweden and Finland for having rejected 19 of 33 extradition requests while providing no response for the other five during the past five years. Meantime, Turkey has added nine extradition requests seven from Sweden and two from Finland, which are still underway. Turkey is also demanding that both countries lift a ban on arms sales imposed for the country's military operations into Syria in 2019. Sweden and Finland have announced that they will send delegations to Turkey to discuss the matter. However, in a speech on Monday, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan did not appear welcoming. Are they coming to convince us? Excuse me, but they should not tire themselves. First of all, we would not say yes to those who impose sanctions on Turkey to join NATO, because then NATO would cease to be a security organization and become a place where representatives of terrorist organizations are concentrated. White House officials are in talks with Turkey on the issue, and NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg has stated he believes Turkey's concerns will be addressed and both Nordic nations' membership processes will not be delayed. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has also expressed confidence that Turkey would support their bid to join NATO. Some analysts stress that a block to Sweden and Finland's NATO bid would be a mistake on Turkey's part that would have negative consequences for the country. Turkey is very hopeful of being able to buy some more, 40 more uh, F-16s from the US. If uh, Erdogan was to veto, he could forget about the F-16s completely. Mm. And we're in a situation at the moment where the economic crisis in Turkey is deepening, the Turkish player is highly vulnerable, any steep rise in tensions with uh, NATO allies, particularly with the U.S., could send the Turkish lira into free fall. Turkey's officials have stressed that Turkey's concerns can be addressed. It will be significant to see what, if any, concessions Sweden and Finland are ready to make in order to pave the way for a potential NATO membership. Mikhail Bardavid, CGTN, Istanbul.